Good morning. We have your Tuesday morning announcements. Uh, first of all, this is school election day. You vote for school board candidates. There's only one contested election, but there also is a chance to vote on uh, a levy issue that would provide a little additional money to the school district for upgrades, improvements, repairs, and renovations, roof work, and things like that for all the buildings in the district. If you're 18 years old, seniors, you can go over and register to vote. It doesn't matter where you live. This is the first election in Cedar Rapids history where you can vote anywhere at the five voting areas, and they are all the high schools and the ELSC and over in the Fine Arts area. Uh, there's this, all the election officials over there, and you can vote. If you're 18, you have to register first, but you can do that right on the spot. And teachers, of course, if you live in the Cedar Rapids School District, you can vote there as well. Marion College Community Day, not so much. You have to vote in the polling places for those school districts. The polls are open until 8 o'clock uh, tonight, so take advantage of that. Related to that also, we're asking you not to continue down that hallway to the music rooms or to exit out the band room door, but instead to cut through the auditorium. And there are signs there pretty clearly explaining that. So appreciate your help on that. That way it doesn't disrupt the election officials and the election that's going on. All right, let's have a round of applause for our golf team. I think they had one of their best meets in the last decade yesterday. Finished second in the 18 Cranny Tournament and second just behind Kennedy. And I believe that Kennedy is the number one rated golf team in the state. So it was an awesome meet. We had five of the low 16 scores. Jake Patterson tied for second in the meet. Pace the Warriors with a 74. Uh, missed being the medalist by just two shots. Junior captain Evan Janquist had a 75. Senior captain Dominic Rodriguez and Max Clausen both had 78s, as did freshman Frank Lidwall. And Will Jackson also run at the team effort. Just six shots off Kennedy in that meet and beating all the other metro area schools. Now 30 and 24 for the young season in golf. JV Reserve Team defeated Kennedy last night using the fifth score tiebreaker in a duel over Ellis. Uh, Harrison Beatty was low for us, uh, and Brad Harriet right behind him. And the Posey, Drew Hager, uh, Ian Schweiger, J.P. Ampey, and Evan Fisher run out our scores in that meet. And the freshman reserve team was edged by Kennedy in another duel. Six freshmen playing their first competitive meets of the year. And we'll salute Jack Rooney, uh, Ethan Wickham, Peter Nassif, Brian Gosh, Matthew Mannanen, Kaiser Kidley Bergman, Colin Bedouard, and Logan Stedlip. They were our golfers in that meet. So, great day for golfers. Congratulations to all of you. Anna Woolley, move to the front here. I want to recognize Anna Woolley because I believe that this is a first in school history. She was selected for the National Honors Orchestra. That's like making all state orchestra times 50 uh, because it's for the entire country. She'll be performing in Louisville uh, this spring with that. It's sponsored by the American String Teachers Association and it's a very, very challenging competition. She is an amazing musician and uh, the director Ms. Brown agrees with me, first time ever we've had a Washington student selected for the National Honor Orchestra. Round of applause over there, can we get a big drop? Thank you. Congratulations, Anna. Okay, great achievement. The golf reserve meet at Airport National today has been postponed. So if you're on that team, you report to practice at 4.30. The freshman meet at Gardner is still on. All right, hurrying along here, we have birthdays today. Luke Carey, Emma Harker, Amisha Carney, Jake uh, Snetzler, uh, Gabrielle Wakwa, and Sam Warner. Happy birthday to all of you today. Don't forget, tomorrow is the first early dismissal of the year. That kind of the very first day of school, of course. Lunch today, French toast sticks and scrambled eggs, or chicken patty and a bun, I think that's out in the hall, or Asian rice bowl on the wall, or garlic cheese bread with marinara sauce, or chicken quesadilla pizza, lots of choices. Last chance, if you don't have your parking hanger yet, see Mrs. Uh, Shopper at the reception says today. You need a new one each year, or there will be a penalty to pay. We can watch sophomore JV and varsity uh, volleyball tonight. I know I'll be there out at Cedar Rapids Prairie starting at 5.30 and 7. And swimmers head down to Iowa City West. Good luck to them. Uh, don't forget those ACT test prep sessions helped uh, provided by Mr. Dewar. They take place next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday after school from 3 until 4 in his room, 232. But to participate in that, you must sign up in advance at the counseling office. Study table today for the second day. University of Iowa is here tomorrow at 845 for a campus visit. 
and Workplace Learning Connection Coordinators at our school today at Little Theater. We share program information. See Mr. Walker if you're interested. For more information about internships or job shadowing. Today's fifth hour study hall. Today only will be moved from the Little Theater to the auditorium because that doesn't need you. That's it for me. Let's let's do the announcements. Hey guys, I got some bad news for Zombie Club. Tomorrow there's going to be no Zombie Club since it's a half day, but I'll talk with Mr. Graham, see if we can make up for it on Thursday. Hey guys, um, if you want to be in the homecoming parade, uh, you have to sign up in the activities office. You must have a teacher sponsor in order to have a float. It is your responsibility to have a, a float, uh, design the float, and have the candy or whatever you want to throw off. Thanks. Uh, Kiva meets today in room 154, that's Mr. Taylor's room. Uh, it will be short, quick, uh, new members are always welcome, so just come by if you have time. Thanks. Just a reminder to all of Dastra members that want to be on the movie committee, we're meeting tomorrow after school at 1.30 at the downtown library. Thank you. Hey guys, more ultimate today after school, we're going to be meeting out on the front lawn right after school for information and we might throw it around a little bit depending on how many people we get to show up. All right, we got Fantastics, uh, Washington Drama Department presents uh, September 12th through 14th, uh, 7.30 p.m. Little Theater. Uh, adults are eight bucks and students are five bucks. If yeah. you have an activity pass, it only costs three bucks. Now, make it a little bit more interesting. There's sword fighting, romance. I fall over on a chair a few times. It'll be great. So you should definitely come by Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and the previews will be tomorrow so you get a sneak peek of what it'll be like. The tickets will be on sale uh, oh, this yeah. week after school from 3 to 4, I believe. Yep. So you should come. Hi, okay. Um, the surveyor is calling all photographers. If you're interested in taking pictures for the newspaper, Please contact one of us. There are options to only be a photographer. You don't have to be a writer if that's not your thing. So yeah, if you're interested at all, you don't have to have taken journalism. We'd like you to have some photo class or photo experience under your belt, but it's really easy to work with us. So just meet with Mr. Phillips or contact me if you see me in the hallway and we'd love to have you. Um, WLP is meeting today after school in room 232, so just come if you've never come before, you can come. We'd love to have you. Thanks. GSA is meeting today after school. Um, it's a Tuesday, so we're going to have a fun day. You can hang out, meet new people. Anybody's welcome, especially newcomers. And if, you get, if we have any returners, it'd be awesome. It's 228, it's Mr. M's room. Freshmen, little introduction and to those new to the school and those who don't remember or haven't seen me in the hallways. My name is Mr. McWhorter. I'm the IT person here. You see me running around on Fridays with my uh, football jersey that has it on the back of it that actually is IT, but you know, whatever you want to call me, I'll respond. I'm here for you if you need anything, have questions. We've got some new software programs this year. Feel free to stop in when you're in the IMC to see me. I'm right next door in 224. Also want to make those aware again that we do have photos. So if you don't know if your photo has been taken lately, if you go out to the WASH website under activities, activities, photos, it takes you out to Shutterfly, which shows you all the different photos and videos that have been taken recently here at Washington so you can keep up with things. And we thank you for your attention to these Tuesday morning announcements.